This is a, a longish poem, which is written in the style of the guy who was at the war, up to a point. A gallant and it's set in 1854. <coughs> Take sheds and stalls from Bill Bill Billings gates, glittering with scaling knives and fish that tumble down outhouses of English farmers' yards that reek of dung and straw and horses cantering in the musy lanes of Dublin, taking Irish landlords' ruinous estates, elaborate pagodas from a Chinese deathware dish where fishes fly through shrouds and sails and yards of leaking ballast-laden junks bound for binarias in search of bucket loads of tea as black as tin. Take a dirty gutter from a back street in Boulogne where shops and houses teeter so their pitched roofs meet. Some chimney stacks as tall as those in Sheffield or Irish round towers smoking like a fleet of British ironclad destroyers. Take the garlic oregano tainted arcades of Bologna, lingueeny twists of souks and smells of rotten meat, as labyrinthine as the rifle factories of Springfield, or the tenements deployed by bad employers who sit in parlours doing business drinking porous, and populate the slum with Cypriot and Turk, Armenians and Arabs. British riflemen and French wives, camel drivers, officers and sailors, sappers, miners, Nubian slaves, Greek money changers, plus interpreters who do not know the lingo. Dress them in turbans, shawls of fancy needlework, fedoras, fezes, sashes, shirts of fine Valenciennes, boleros, pantaloons designed by jobbing tailors, knickerbockers of the ostrich and the pink flamingo, sans culottes and outfits even stranger, requisition slaughterhouses for the troops and stalls with sherbet, lemonade and rancid lard for sale, a temporary hospital or two, a jail, a stagnant harbour redolent with cholera and open sewers running down the streets, let the stable diet be green cantaloupes swarming with flies washed down with sour wine accompanied by the Byzantine jangly music of the kithara and the multilingual squawks of parakeets. O landscape riddled with the diamond mines of Kimberley and all the oubliettes of Trebizons where opium smokers doze among the Persian rugs and spies and whores and dimlit snugs discuss the failing prowess of the superpowers where prowling dogs sniff for offal beyond the stench of puffed plums and apricots from which is distilled the brandy they call grape shot and soldiers lie dead or drunk among the crushed flowers I have not even begun to describe Gilbert Bullet.